really good around to the left. Tried to switch it up at the end, but a little too late for smoke signals. That bull was ridden by Mason Taylor in round one, and now his good friend Dylan Smith gets it done. I think he sure can. He's got the shot right here, especially if this bull goes left, but he's supposed to go right. Round to the right. Yeah, making the move. Anyway. He's there. And Scotty Mack cashes in aboard Tricky Kid Rock. Well, you, you don't, you don't. Lawrence in 11th and bumps Chase Outlaw for the moment out. This is Joe Frost, free right. He did. We hit tend hit to get at hit least hit one great example, Mac, every weekend of textbook form. Here he faces Crazy Cat. Yeah, this is a young guy that can ride with a lot of control. <laughs> and another cowboy converts. Mason Taylor having a career weekend. One position sometimes a little too much. He's got to get loose and move with him. Tovis able to go big aboard little Bob. And then Jesse Byrne takes the front of that bull and draws his attention away alongside Frank Newsom and Shorty Gorham. You mentioned a moment ago Lockwood using this bull as well as others on a way to a win a year ago. Taylor, great start. And he knew exactly what he needed to do. And Mason Taylor capitalizes. Taking a look at Marcus Mast, who has the bull JB had in round one. Marcus Mast makes hardball look easy enough. What a ride. That's why I think he's got so much potential, because it doesn't matter. We've got one. Perfection. Mason Taylor now three for three. A full bull ahead. Scarface, true to form, turned the left blinker on and went left immediately. Scotty Knapp is now two for two, and if this ride is worth more than 85 and three quarters. He'll kind of have some off timing to him, and we'll change things up a little. Finish go! Finish go! How about that? A transformed Taylor Tovis able to conquer talking smack. Shannon Cravens right there to help him out.